used to study cells and on, a, on a flat two-dimensional surface. And then people started to get the idea that we should really try and grow them in three-dimensional uh, structures. So organoids are little bits of tissue that are grown in three-dimensional environments. When I first saw the image, I was just amazed by the different textures. With papers, it's so interesting. It's papers flat, there's not much quality to it, but there are so many things you can do to the way you cut it and the way you create depth with it that I was like, boy, oh, how can I try to mimic this with flat paper? One thing that we're really interested in is can we use um, organoids to model um, cancers? especially cancers where uh, there's a really important role for the surrounding tissue in how that cancer behaves. Here what I was really trying to figure out is how the shape of the forms will express like the depth and the three the three-dimensional qualities. The hanji paper I want to uh, use in the background. Like I really like this texture. It's not as quite as yellow as I need it to be, but I think that's something that I could touch up digitally. But I like this texture. Here I'm going for this part, and it looks like around here is the center. And then the satisfying part of this is when you get to just like take it out. Okay, and this is the moment of truth, did I do it right? And then all just pops out. So I want it to be around here. This is a paper art depiction of an organoid. I try to take the qualities of the organoid and express it using paper. Yeah, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And I like the three-dimensionality of it. Being able to look at them in three dimensions gives them a lot of the features of, a, of an actual organ. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool. It's really beautiful. It's also interesting that you got all these different shapes of, these are cells. And th mm -hmm. these are actually biologically important kind of little features. They're called uh, oh. vertices. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I don't know if you knew that when you did that, but it's, it's pretty cool. The donors play an essential role to allow us to do the research that we do. We get a lot from the government, but it's not enough to do what we do. So donor contributions to research play an essential role. Yeah, it's much better.